Hey guys, I just wanted to show you my Roku 3 setup. As you can see right here, this is my Roku 3. And that's the power and HDMI cable plugged in. And plugged into my Roku 3, I have a USB 3.0 hub that has its own power supply. This is the power cable and this is the data cable that goes from the USB 3.0 hub to the Roku 3. And I have two different hard drives and one USB stick plugged into the hub. I have a 3.5 SATA hard drive that's plugged into its own dock that has its own power supply. And this is a 3.0 USB 3.0 data cable that's plugged into the docking device. And then I have a 2.5 SATA hard drive in its own enclosure um, that does not require a separate power supply. That And this hard drive is plugged into the dock as well, as you can see. And I have a 256 gig USB 3.0 stick plugged into the docking device. Like I said before, the docking device the USB 3.0 hub. It's a seven port hub. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a USB 3.0 dock, docking station or hub. And it has its own power supply, like I said. It's plugged in down there. And the dock I have for my 3.5 SATA hard drive has its own power supply. The reason why I've mentioned this a couple times is because even if I had just been using, let's say, this 2.5 SATA hard drive and I plugged it in directly to the Roku 3, it's very doubtful that it would work because the USB port, the USB port on the Roku 3 does not supply enough power to power an entire hard drive. The only thing it can power is a USB stick. Uh, which is flash memory. Um, it's not an actual spinning hard drive. So I just wanted to make that a point where if you want to plug multiple devices into your Roku 3, it's best to get a, a docking station like a, the one I have, a USB 3.0 dock hub, or they call it just a regular hub, but make sure that it has its own power supply because technically this hub is powering this external 2.5 SATA enclosure and the data transfer cable is plugged into here. I have all the, I have both hard drives and the USB stick formatted to NFTS file system because with NFTS file system, you can transfer files that are over four gigs versus FAT32. FAT32 maxes out at four gigs. So if you, have a movie file that's larger than four gigs it's very doubtful that it'll transfer to a fat 32 file system um it's the roku 3 is only compatible with uh fat 32 and nfts file systems and then let's go on the media player app so i can show you what it looks like also, um, since my Roku 3 is plugged into my computer monitor, um, my computer monitors only has VGA and DVI, so I'm using a HDMI to DVI cable, and the audio does not carry over into the DVI side that plugs into the monitor, so I'm using the earphone port on the remote, and I ran an aux cable to a external speaker. Otherwise, I just use headphones at night. As you can see, all the different hard drives uh, pop up and the USB stick. <clears throat> so here's just a quick demonstration. The movie plays. Just the movie plays just fine. And then here's the other hard drive. Sometimes it takes a second for it to load, but it usually doesn't take more than I would think like 15 or 20 seconds max to load. 
the movie plays just fine. And then here's the USB stick. Um, just a side note, if all the devices don't show up, um, all you need to do really is just go back to your home screen and go into your settings and number one make sure that your system is updated to its last update or make sure it's just updated to whatever update roku releases um and also um, if necessary just restart the entire system um that's happened to me before where i plugged everything in and I went to the media player app and then not everything showed up. All the drives didn't show up. So I just restarted the system and everything popped up. But yeah, um, also Roku 3s and I believe all other Roku models before and after do not read any device that is formatted with the XFAT file system. They only read nfts and fat32 file systems i chose nfts uh for my drives just because like i said it holds it reads files and you can copy files larger than four gigs um unlike fat32 i think the biggest file you can copy is four gigs but yeah it's just a pretty basic setup just keep in mind the usb port on the roku 3 and i'm pretty sure all other models before and after can only power USB sticks on their own. If you have external hard drives or enclosures, it's best that they have their own power supplies um, and then you can plug it directly into the Roku. Um, but if you have like a 2.5 enclosure like this and you don't have a separate power supply for it, plug it into a, a hub that has its own power supply and then plug it into the Roku and that should work. It's kind of like a workaround. But we can do a quick demonstration right here where I'll unplug the hub and then I'm just going to plug in the external hard drive, the 3.5 SATA drive with its own power supply and I'm going to plug it directly into the Roku. Let's see if it pops up. It did pop up this time. And that works just fine. And we can unplug it and then let's Let's plug in the USB stick and we'll see how that loads in. This is a Roku 3 model, by the way. It's an older model that is compatible with 720 and 1080p resolution TVs. A lot of the 4K TVs either have Roku player built in or they people use the 4K roku uh models and i believe one of those has a usb port that you can plug in so as you can see no compatible media found in videos that happens sometimes if you hot swap the devices so i'm just gonna restart the roku first i'm gonna make sure the system's fully updated Everything's updated, and I'm going to restart the system. That happens sometimes when you hot swap devices. So all I do is I restart it, as you can see. So we'll just wait a minute till it restarts.
like I said, this hard drive does not have its own power supply. It's just powered solely through the USB 3.0 cable. So because we're in this kind of situation where I don't have a separate power supply for this drive, I can either take it out and plug it into my docking station, or I can, like I said, use a powered USB 3.0 hub with its own power supply, and that'll supply enough power to run this hard drive. Um, so let's see. Go back to the media player app. And I've had this Roku now, I think, for like seven years because it came out, I think, in 2013. Still works pretty well. Let's just double check that connection. There we go, it popped up again. Sometimes you just have to unplug it and plug it back in if it doesn't show up. The movie plays just fine. But I just wanna make it clear again, this is a 2.5 SATA hard drive and it's in its own enclosure device that I bought. I believe, I think I got it at Fry's Electronics. Um, the Roku 3 cannot power this hard drive on its own. So if you wanna use like a 2.5 SATA hard drive, you can just take the hard drive out and plug it into a 2.5, 3.5 SATA docking station. Or like I said, you can use a powered USB 3.0 hub that has its own power supply as you can see that's the power supply right there and you can plug everything in the dock like I'm doing right now and then just simply Plug in the docking station. Plug it into the Roku 3. I know this Roku model is a few years old, so I will be trying to try this little experiment on a Roku, uh, on a Roku, 4k model with a usb port but i'm pretty sure this setup will work on just about anything as you can see not all the devices are showing up so i gotta just double check my connections i gotta turn my hard drive back on and then i'm just gonna restart the app one more time like everything pops up the hard drive dock for the 3.5 SATA drive is on as you can see everything is plugged into the powered USB 3.0 hub but yeah just a basic video in case you guys have any questions I'm using this dock, like I said, so I can power my 2.5 SATA drive. Um, also, so I can just kind of hot swap any device I want without having to go behind the monitor every single time. But uh, yeah, like I said, um, FAT32 or NFTS file systems uh, work with the Roku 3 and all models before and after. Um, NFTS or FAT32. XFAT is not compatible uh, unless Roku released a new update that I don't know about. Uh, but a few months ago, I tried an XFAT formatted hard drive and it didn't work on the Roku 3. But once I formatted that same drive to NFTS, 
or FAT32. It worked just fine.